Hello and welcome to another RotaryCraft tutorial. This is the second tutorial in my mini-series about RotaryCraft and this time I will talk about lubricant, how to make it and how to use it. Before I start I will have to go back to the first tutorial I did. The blast furnace had an update after my last video and now we also had to put sand into the blast furnace. So gunpowder, coal and sand. Now we can make steel from our, our, our iron. And always remember to fill the entire field to get extra output. Now we can get more than nine. Sometimes. But not this time. Okay, and now we can start with today's episode. Everything starts with canola seeds. You farm them like any other seed from tall grass and you plant them like normal wheat. When they're finished they look like this with yellow flowers and even though the handbook clearly states that that the it shares the same requirements as wheat in terms of light level, water supply, and so on. It seems like it will still grow. I don't know why, but try to use water anyway. Now, when we have the canola seeds growing, we can start with the power generation. In this first chest I will go through the DC electric engine and the steam engine. The DC engine is the most basic and easy engine in the mod. It looks like this and you can rotate it like normal. In this example I will use it to power this pump and we'll rotate it, remember to have it facing the correct way and we use a lever to start it. When we look in the handbook about the power supplies we found the DC electric engine, it's easy to build and is the weakest of them all. The, the torque is 4 newton meters and the power is 1 kilowatts. That's exactly what the pump will use. And here it is. The pump will suck up liquids from the surrounding area. The required power is 1 kilowatts and the torque is 4 newton meters. It's exactly what the DC electric engine outputs and now it will suck up water. We use liquid pipe to pipe it away and over here we will connect it to our steam engine. Looking in the handbook we can find the steam engine. It outputs 16 kilowatts at, at a 32 newton meters torque. We need heat from below. Uh, there are different ways of obtaining that heat. In this example I will use netherrack. You could use lava as well but then you will have to use uh, cooling fins to cool it down. This way no such a thing is needed. A common thing I see is that the liquid pipe won't connect correctly to the steam engine. You can see it here, it's not really connecting and we'll, if we look in the steam engine interface we see no water here. Keep an eye on that. Now we're connected and the water is filling the engine up. When we reach 100 degrees Celsius we will get steam and we will get output power. In my 
next setup I have already prepared this and we have everything up and running. As you can see I also placed a few dynamometers here to really keep track on what's happening. We have one kilowatts here, the pump is running, it outputs 16 kilowatts and you see the figures yourself. Now what can we use this for? Well, looking at the grinder, this is what we'll use to make lubri lubricant out of canola seeds. In the grinder, we can look in the information tab. It's still only steel to make it. And it requires 4 kilowatts at a 128 newton meters of torque. Notice that we don't have any speed requirement. So it will work at different speeds, but will always require at least 128 newton meters in torque. Looking at these figures, we don't have enough torque. We have only 32. So we need a way to transfer the torque up but at the cost of speed. This can be done with the gearbox, but gearboxes require lubricant and we don't have any yet. Another way to change the change the torque is using a worm gear. The worm gear will, if we look in the handbook and power transfer, is a fast way to increase shaft torque without using gears and it will have an equivalent of a 16 to 1 ratio but we can't change it and we will lose some of the power. Now if we look at the power we have 16 kilowatts input that's enough to run four grinders but we only have 14.8 kilowatts of output not enough for four but enough for three now we have the torque it's 512 newton meters and if we look at the grinder we only need 128 so we have a much higher torque than we need and a much higher power. I will use this shaft junction and bevel gears to split, uh, to split even between two. And now we can place two grinders. They will each get 7 kilowatts at 256 newton meters of torque. It's twice the torque that we need, so but the power is only enough for one. So this is what we'll start with. Now we can place our seeds inside and in a little while we will have lubricant. Next step is to take it somewhere else. We can use this lubricant hose to do that. We are almost finished with the first one. Here we can see starting to fill up. One way to store it is in reservoirs. You can place them alone or connect several in different shapes and they will hold I think 16 buckets each. We can double check that. 64 buckets. Awesome. Connect the lubricant hose And it will start to fill up. Mm. 
Now we have lubricant to use in the gearbox and the gearbox is in the next setup. I will use the same example here. I will have a steam engine. I, we have the same power but this time I will use a gearbox and this will allow us to divide the power equally for two four grinders each running at four kilowatts with 128 newton meters of torque and to do that we need a gearbox but we need lubricant now if we place a I need a dynamometer Here we can see that the power at the end is dropping really quickly. This is because the gearbox is braking and the more it brakes, lower the power. It will go very quickly down, so always lubrica lubricate your gearboxes. Okay, let's break that and we connect our lubricant. Now we will have 0% damage and lubricant filling up. This is a 16 to 1 gearbox and it will do exactly the same thing as before but without the power loss. Now you can see that the torque output in the at the end is 4 kilowatts 128 newton meters and since i have the shaft junction at the even split here and here and here we will have the same output on all of them 4 kilowatts 4 kilowatts this means that we can place one grinder each and have four grinders running from the same engine. Due to the power loss we only could only power two grinders over here. So it's quite an improvement thanks to the gearbox and the lubricant hose. Well, <laughs> lubricant provided in hoses. If we right shift right click you can see the gearbox speeding up or speeding down. This is changing the ratio between 16 to 1 and 1 to 16. And looking at the high speed it's we have a, a low torque and high speed it's not enough to run the grinder so make sure that you have them in the correct mode okay the gearbox should be fine we have four grinders ready to grind and we have a way to store the lubricant as well I meant to finish up this video with a tutorial of how to make an automated canola seed farm but that will be in a completely separate video because I will use some other mods to transport items and so on. So I hope to see you in that one and thanks for watching this one. Bye!